It's Christmas. It's Christmas. There's nine days until Christmas. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? I'm so excited that you are here. Today is a really fun episode because I am going to, ma to be making four different sweet treats for Brian to bring to his coworkers. I'm going to also not only show you the four different recipes, they're super easy, don't worry. I'm gonna be showing you how I package them all up cutely in little, little just like little gift baggies almost so he can just drop them in the morning on all of his coworkers desk. Uh, these four recipes, I know you might be thinking, holy crap, I do not have time. There's nine days left until Christmas. By the time you're seeing it, it's gonna be like seven or eight days left until Christmas. So that is why I wanted to make super simple recipes. So the four things that I will be making is peppermint bark. So there's gonna be like a chocolate, a dark chocolate layer with a coconutty peppermint topping. It's gonna be really good with um, crushed mint M&Ms on top. It's gonna be so good. It's gonna be really hard for me not to eat all of them because mint chocolate is my favorite flavor of all time. So that is the first recipe that we're gonna be making. And then we're also gonna be making those Mexican cookies, I think they're called. I don't know the real name of them. I'm gonna to have to look them up, but I think they're called Mexican cookies or something. They're little balls that you roll around in powdered sugar and they're soft and like kind of crumbly and flaky. So we'll be making those. And then we're also going to be making candied pecans and um, Muddy Buddies, peanut butter Muddy Buddies. Now the reason behind why I chose those exact four recipes is because I wanted quick like poppable things that his coworkers can just eat while they're working. So I didn't wanna do any heavy baking and make these brownies and cookies because I felt like when you go into an office setting around the holidays, it's always cookies and brownies. And I wanted to just do something that they can kind of just like pick on throughout the day. So that is what we're gonna be making. I hope that you choose to make some of these, if not all of these, and bring them to your job or make them for your husband for his office or bring to your new, like Christmas parties or even like give to your neighbors and just families and friends just to let them know that you're thinking about them and that you're blessed to have them in your life. I think around the holidays we get so like obsessed with, okay, I have to buy someone the perfect gift and oh my God, I'm broke, I don't have the money for this. So if you can just make a big batch of a bunch of different things, little treats that you can give people that you homemade, that's all they need to really, just like have that little little like warmth in their heart to um, let them know that you're thinking about them. So another little thing that I wanted to tell you is that Brian has no idea that I am doing this. So as a wife, I feel like around the holidays, it's kind of my job to take the initiative and and put something together for my husband to bring to his coworkers because he's never gonna come home and bake something or he's probably not even thinking to bring anything for his coworkers. So I wanted to do that for him and kind of surprise him today when he got home from work with all of these little gift bags together. So I'm gonna show you his uh, reaction live when he gets home when I show him all of the beautiful package of little treats that he can bring his coworkers uh, this week before everyone takes time off for the holidays. And these are the bags of all the ingredients. I wanted to point out that I had a lot of the ingredients already in my kitchen, which was awesome. So I really did not spend much money on on the ingredients for the four different recipes because I, I really did have a lot of stuff here. So I am gonna get to work putting all of the re all of the ingredients together for each recipe so that when I'm making it, I can just go, go, go. That, I don't wanna be cooking all day. It's a Tuesday, I have work to do. I wanna surprise Brian when he gets home at five o'clock with everything already packaged up together. So in order to make the cooking as fast and easy as possible without feeling frantic is I'm going to set out all the ingredients for every single recipe. I'm gonna pre-measure everything, portion everything out so when I'm cooking, I can just grab and go. And then when I'm done with one recipe, I can just move on over to a different part of my kitchen and start working on the next recipe. So that is what I'm gonna be doing right now. I will see you guys in a second for our first recipe, which will be the peppermint bark. All right, we are ready for business. So let me show you what I did <clears throat> with all of the ingredients for all four recipes. This is gonna make life so much easier. So please, if you take anything from this video, do this, especially around the holidays when you're cooking. So let me just show you. So I have everything all around my kitchen. So these are for the snowball cookies, the Mexican wedding cookies. All the ingredients measured out so I can just go, go, go. 
Over here, I have the peppermint bark um, ingredients. Right now, what I'm doing while I'm speaking to you is heating up some water in a small pot, and then um, I'm going to put this over the top to create a double broiler. So now you can see the water is kind of smoking, and I didn't fill up the water so high where this is submerged. You just want the top bowl to just slightly cover the water and then you're going to pour in, this is for the peppermint bark, we're starting out with this recipe, dark chocolate chips, one cup. I'm, I'm gonna write all the recipes down below and probably put them on my website too. But we are just going to let those melt while I speak to you and show you everything over the double broiler. So easy, don't let this scare you. It's literally just water heating up with a bowl on top, so simple. I have my, um, my little pan ready for the coconut bark, or the coconut bark, the peppermint bark. So this is already lined with parchment paper so I don't have to do anything. These are the ingredients all measured out for the candied pecans. This is the pan um, already set with parchment paper for those Mexican wedding cookies because they do take about 10 minutes to bake. So this is the only thing we have to bake, which is awesome. And then this is for the Muddy Buddies, all of the ingredients. So I just bought Chex. I bought two different kinds. I have the chocolate and the regular, and then I have peanut butter. So it's going to be a bunch of different uh, flavors going on here. And everything is all set up, which is so helpful. So let's just get started with this chocolate. So it's already melting in here, and I'm just using a rubber spatula, and I am just going to move the chocolate around and I can hear the water boiling. So I'm just gonna lower the temperature just a little bit. You don't need it at a roaring boil, you just need it nice and hot, and the chocolate is going to melt super simple, simply. So let me just show you what it looks like from my view. You see it's already melting without me having to do anything, and this is the proper way to melt chocolate without having it burn. So I am just going to sit here, let the video play, and I am just going to stir this all together so nothing burns. It, you, it's really almost impossible to burn the chocolate when you heat it up this way because the chocolate is not being touched by direct heat. So the heat from like the steam of the underneath the water in this pot is really what's melting the chocolate. So I'm just gonna stir this until everything is melted and the chocolate is nice and smooth. All right, we are good to go. It's perfect. So I don't know, about two minutes. It took no time at all. It is nice and perfectly melted. So now we're just gonna pour it into this eight by eight glass dish lined with parchment paper. We'll pop it in the freezer for about 10 minutes just to set. I'm not mad. I'm not mad at all. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I love the holidays. Okay, so I'm gonna pop this in the freezer. I just smoothed it out. It was easier to smooth out with a little spoon. So I'm gonna pop this in the freezer, put a timer on for 10 minutes and get the other ingredients ready. Okay, so next is the coconut, coconut oil and coconut butter mixture. So in this bowl, I have a half a cup of coconut oil and a half a cup of coconut butter. It's also called coconut mana. So I'm just gonna pop it in the microwave to um, melt everything together a little bit because if you have ever worked with like coconut oil and it's in like your cabinet, you know that it can be really hard. Same thing with coconut butter, it's super hard. So it works a lot better if you just microwave it and um, melt it together just a little bit. So I'm gonna do that for about 30 seconds. So I, to this, we're gonna sweeten this and flavor this and make it the peppermint tea. So we're gonna do a tablespoon of maple syrup, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and a half a teaspoon of peppermint extract. Right, smells pepperminty. Now we're gonna mix it together. And we have three and a half minutes left on the timer. So I'm actually gonna pop this coconut mixture, coconut oil, butter, peppermint mixture in the fridge just to cool down a little bit because it is a, just a little bit warm from the microwave and I don't want this to melt the chocolate that we just spent time cooling down. So while this is in the fridge, we are going to chop our M&Ms, our mint chocolate M&Ms. I need to get these out of the house because mint chocolate's my favorite and M&Ms are my favorite. 
And then also, just for a contrast in color, I picked up a tiny little mini package of these uh, Ghirardelli Squares Peppermint Bark. It just came with two, which is perfect because I will freaking eat all of them. So I'm gonna chop these up while this is just cooling a little bit in the fridge. I've never had these before, ever in my life. Oh my god, why did I eat them? Oh my god, they're so good. So, I didn't anticipate how tough it was to chop these little babies. Wasn't thinking, like, you know, a circle, something round. So, I just um, chopped up some of them. I'm gonna leave some whole. So I think it'll actually be a good, like, contrast in texture and the reason why I like usually traditionally if you want to even say that peppermint bark usually has like crushed up candy canes on top but that peppermint flavor I don't personally like I don't know anyone who just is like yes a candy cane I don't know you know so I thought chocolate peppermint chocolate mint will be so much tastier instead of like that really hard crunch of a candy you know so i think this will be a lot more enjoyable so let me go grab my frozen chocolate and my cooled um top layer i am just gonna pour this on top of the bottom chocolate layer and then press in the little candy pieces and then i freeze it for like two hours and then i break it all up so simple i love it All right, so that top layer was kind of thick, which is what, which is typically like I wanted more of the top layer to be thick because this is peppermint bark. So that's the most pepperminty part of the recipe. And because it was a little bit thicker, the candy chunks kind of sunk. So I kind of like that. So when they bite into it and when I crack the bark and make it all jagged and like little pieces, you're gonna be able to see the candy pieces inside. So you should be able to get a good amount of candy with each bite, which is awesome because I know his coworkers love their sweets. So I'm gonna pop this in the freezer for about two hours and then get started on the Mexican wedding cookies. But let me just show you what this looks like first. And what you didn't see was I actually put the rest of the M&Ms in the food processor so I could chop them up a little bit more and almost get like a little dusting, which you can definitely see. And I thought that would be really, really great just to uh, cover the top because I want it to be loaded. So Okay, so on to the Mexican wedding cookies. So. I do not have a hand mixer, I don't think. Don't know where it is, Have I really don't think I have one. So we're just gonna use some of my muscle because we all know your girl has some muscle. Let's hope that muscle works. So I have a half a cup of coconut oil and a teaspoon of, I almost said maple syrup, no. Vanilla extract. I am going to, yep, vanilla. Just had to make sure. So I'm going to add the vanilla to the coconut oil and I am gonna try really hard to pretend I'm a hand mixer and fluff it all together with like a spoon or a fork or something I don't know that's perfect you don't need a hand mixer get out of here okay so now I have a quarter of a cup of pecans and walnuts that I am just gonna pulse up to break them up in my food processor. I moved into the sunlight, my kitchen. Some parts are so dark. So you just wanna blend up the nuts until they're pretty fine, because this is gonna be like the flour, like we're making like the inside of the cookie. So now to this, we are just gonna pulse um, a third of a cup of powdered sugar. We're gonna do a cup of all-purpose flour and a quarter of a teaspoon of salt and just pulse it up to make a flour. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so what I just did was I moved the coconut oil and vanilla extract into a big bowl because I want to slowly add the dry to the wet to make our little batter. So, and then I'm also gonna, just to make it a little bit more crumbly, I'm gonna add some almond milk. I have a tablespoon here, but I'm gonna slowly add it with, just to make that perfect, um, like crumbly dough-like consistency. All right, dough is formed. Now I'm just gonna th um, put it into little balls. Just make it in into, oh, my hair is like so voluminous. Just gonna form into little balls and then pop it in the oven at 400 for seven to 10 minutes. And then we're gonna roll it in powdered sugar. All right, we are rocking and rolling. These recipes are too freaking easy to do. Oh my gosh, it's been like an hour and I'm on my third one, which this is this is so easy. I can't even stand it. And this recipe is, is on the back of a lot of the Chex cereal, which is so helpful. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna incorporate one cup chocolate chips, half a cup of peanut butter. I have to get this out of my freaking face. I hate peanut butter so much and the smell is killing me. Whew and a quarter of a cup of butter. I'm gonna combine all of these into a bowl and I'm gonna microwave for one minute, stir, and then I'm gonna microwave in 30 second increments until it is all melted and everything is combined. All right, it feels pretty perfect. Just mixing everything together. As you can see, it's all nice and melted. I'm sorry. Oh my God, this peanut butter is killing me. And the Mexican cookies should be done. Okay, this is too funny. They did not stay in balls. They flattened, but they're super soft. So I'm gonna let them cool and I'm gonna see if I can form them into balls because I still have to roll them in the powdered sugar. This is what I've never made these before. Um, so you guys, we're learning together, but I hope they taste good. That's really all that count. They smell great. So I'm gonna put these aside and just let them cool and then hopefully I can mold them back into little balls. All right, this chocolate peanut butter butter mixture is all melted. Now we are just gonna add some vanilla extract. Vanilla extract, one teaspoon. And then we just cover it in the cereal. And then we just shake it up with some sugar and then that's it. And um, just remember, I know I'm making like, I'm being such a baby about peanut butter and I hate it so much. The reason why I'm not using almond butter, cashew butter, any other butter in this world is because I'm addicted to Muddy Buddies. I have a problem, I need to go to counseling for it. No, I'm just kidding, but seriously, I would eat them all, so I had to do them peanut butter, so I would not eat them, because I would eat everything. I'm using a pound of Chex cereal, and I would eat the whole pound in one sitting, no problem. So, I am gonna grab the cereal, because now we're gonna coat the cereal in the peanut butter chocolate mixture. I wish I like, I wish, oh God, this is gonna be so good. The recipe on um, the back of the cereal box says to put everything in a big gallon Ziploc bag and shake the powdered sugar all over, but I don't have a big Ziploc bag and I didn't read through the whole entire recipe um, when I was at the grocery store. So I'm just gonna put the top on the pan and try to shake it that way and just kind of stir it. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm leaving some chocolate in a bowl just because I wanna make sure that I can, if anything, I can um, get the under layers of the cereal and put fresh chocolate on that. So I know it's hard to see, but I'm just stirring it all together. All 
Oh my gosh, this is so messy and sticky and chocolatey and good. The great thing about this recipe is that it's not supposed to be a certain way. It doesn't have to be pretty. It's not supposed to be. It's Muddy Buddies. Muddy, it's, you know, it's dirty, it's sticky, it's fun. <laughs> It's so good. This is such a great thing maybe to make um, for like your kids too. Um, maybe for your kids school and just omit the peanut butter and maybe do like almond butter or cashew butter. I'm not sure with kids if you're supposed to bring anything nut related. So maybe not. Maybe coconut butter. I don't know. I'm not a mom. So I don't know if that's even allowed. But we got muddy up in here. We got some muddy buddies. I just want to make sure all the underneath layers are coated. It looks like everything for the most part is coated. And then if some aren't, that's okay because they're chocolate flavored and they're peanut butter flavored. So it's gonna be delicious. So let me just show you what it looks like. Mmm, oh my goodness, I these look so good. So now I have a cup and a half of powdered sugar that I am just going to slowly stir in since I don't have a bag to shake them all up. And I think, now that I'm thinking about it, like in my head, I think the best thing to do is, because I don't have a bag, I'm just gonna separate this half of this mixture into another bowl, just because I really do wanna make sure that all of the checks get covered with the powdered sugar, because that's like, I don't want to say the best part. I mean, there's chocolate peanut butter sauce, so I guess that's the best part. But just to make sure. All right, powdered sugar is so messy. <laughs> so I am just gonna sprinkle it on top there, sprinkle it here. I'm gonna leave some in the bowl just so I can see what, where it needs more. The good thing is you can always go back to your bag of powdered sugar and just add more. But I have a cup and a half here to start. Oh my gosh. Now we're just gonna let those chill and hang out. But now, we gotta fix, hopefully, these um, cookies or balls or whatever they should be. What do I do? These are not gonna go into balls. I'm gonna, they're pretty solid. like them. Mm. I just don't know how they're gonna roll. Okay, okay, okay. So why do they have to be balls? Tell me, tell me, come at me. They don't, right? So can't we just roll them and they're just cookies? That's what we're doing. Cause I don't want to waste one since I just ate one. I don't want to try to form it into a new ball because I think it's just going to crumble. So we're just going to pop these little cookies and they'll be fine. No one's even going to know that I fucked up. All right. We got the last recipe. Oh, let me show you the cookies. They actually look good. Here are the Mexican wedding cookies. I think they look so good. So screw it. They don't need to be balls. They can be cookies. I'm happy with this. And I double dipped them in the powdered sugar. So I dipped all of them once and then I did it again because I found that they were still a little bit warm. So 
the powder trigger was almost melting ish not melting but I wanted them to be covered like little like little snowballs but they're not balls um, so I did them twice and so now another easiest recipe in America in the world we have four cups of pecans I I'm gonna go to Marshall's immediately after this clip and I'm gonna buy a big ass bowl because I have to use another pot. So we have our pecans in here and in a bowl, I am gonna whisk together one egg white with some water, with one tablespoon of water. And you're just combining it. You're not like doing anything crazy. I'm gonna pour the egg whites mixture over the pecans all right and in another bowl which is going to be this bowl i have a cup of granulated sugar and in this little bowl i have two teaspoons of cinnamon and half a teaspoon of salt i'm just going to mix that together to make a cinnamon sugar coating i'm just going to pour it over the top All right, everything is coated. They kind of, the sugar kind of like melted over the top, so some of them are like super coated, which is perfect. Now I'm gonna pop them in a 300 oven for 45 minutes, but every 15 minutes I'm gonna take it out and stir it. So I'm gonna put a 45 minute timer on my stove and stove and a 15 minute timer on my microwave, and then just keep resetting that 15 minute timer so I don't forget to stir it. So this is the bark. I really like it. Yes, it would be, you know, Christmassier and probably more pretty if I did the candy canes on top, but I just, I would rather have people like enjoy it better, you know? Okay. Can't believe I'm done already. That was so easy. I did four different sweets. So I'm going to taste test this. I'm not going to need lunch today with everything that I'm taste testing. Bailey, do you have something to say? Oh, she's just dreaming. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. 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 I am the best because Oh my god. Hold on. I can't talk. Oh my god. Uh, I can't give these away. I have to give these away. Listen to me. I don't care that they're not as pretty as they would be oh my god. if I added candy cane it wouldn't taste as good why do you want a hard ass candy cane you know wow wow i might save some for me holy cannoli Well, I'm gonna clean my kitchen. I'm going to work on the pecans. Every 15 minutes, I'm simply just gonna stir them. I don't think you have to see that part. So I'm gonna clean my kitchen, do that. And then really quick, let me just show you what I got to package all of these together so that the next clip that you see is going to be me putting them and showing you how I'm gonna be making them all pretty in their own little 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 baggie. I know this video is probably gonna go longer, but there's four recipes and I'm showing you how I package them, so deal with it. No, I'm just kidding, I love you. So I when I got all this stuff at Walmart, just so you know. So I got him, look at me. I got him a card for his boss. You're an amazing boss. And that's why our team is amazing too. So cute. So I have, I got to text him and ask him how many people are on his team, but I want this to be a surprise. So I just don't want him to get any ideas, but I got this little plate. I think it was like two bucks. 
So I'm gonna put everything on this plate. And then for the pecans, I am going to, the pecans and the Muddy Buddies, I am going to put in these little muffin tins so that they can just sit on here with the cookies, with the bark. And everyone's just gonna get a full plate of everything. So that's gonna be cute on there. And then the way that I'm gonna wrap them up is I have this holiday cling wrap and it's green. So I'm just going to like put it over the plate, tie it up with this red bow, probably do some curls with it. And then I bought these cute little mini, um, what are these called, bows? So that I can like stick it somewhere on there, so. so when he comes home around five, six o'clock, I'm going to kind of like keep an eye out, post the camera up so he doesn't know I'm filming because I don't want him to put on, a, not that he puts on a show, but I don't want him, I want him, I want you to see his reaction in real life because I know he's gonna be so thankful and so shocked that I did this for him all day today. Actually, not even all day, to be completely honest, it took me, I would say, an hour and a half because I think I started at 1230 and that's with me filming okay filming and setting everything up that's a whole nother production so four recipes in an hour and a half with filming everything and speaking and doing all that crap happy freaking holidays this is amazing I'm gonna go this video is long enough I love you so much I'll see you in a second Oh my gosh, you guys, Brian's gonna be home in 30 minutes and I just started putting everything together and every single time I hear a car door, I like poop my pants because <laughs> I wanna surprise him with all the all of the little goodie bags done. And I thought he had like six to eight people on his team. He has 15, okay? I was not expecting this. So that kind of sucks because that means only Everybody can only get one snowball cookie. Um, I was going to make a second batch, but I, I just, I kind of just don't think I should. I don't know. I mean, oh, and, and my memory card is full, so I'm using my iPhone. But this is what they look like. The reason why it's so late is because I went to Office Depot to print something, to print out these little cards. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I'm gonna show you how I put them together because I only have two together right now, but how cute. So I typed these up on a Word document, went to Office Depot. It has a little saying on it, and then it says what is inside the little treat bag. It says, happy holidays to you and your family. May the holiday season end the present year on a cheerful note and make way for a fresh and bright new year. And then the opposite side says treats inside. And then I just listed all the treats and then I um, listed what ones contain which nuts just in case people are like allergic or anything. So let me, oh, let me just show you too. Oh my gosh. I gotta like figure out how to prop up my phone because I wanna show you how I'm putting these little bags together. But, oh my God, these candied pecans. I tried one, thank God I'm giving this shit away. Thank you Jesus, because I would be 5,000 pounds. So let's get going, cause Christina has to go to make these for Brian before he gets home. I'm gonna set you here and we got our little cute, plate and I have one Muddy Buddy, one candied pecan, one snowball cookie. I wish, I really wish that there was more than one. I feel like that's such a jip, but, and then we got some bark. Now I put it in the center of this green saran wrap. But then I was noticing that this side, these sides are open, so I have to, um, I have to seal it again. And then I have my red ribbon. Before I make the little bow, Luna, I hear you over there. I'm gonna put my little card. I hole punched it at Office Depot. 
I'm threading it through so it hangs here and then I'm going to just make a little bow. I can't believe there's 15 people on his team. What the heck? I really thought there was like eight. <laughs> and then I'm gonna just put this little bow. I don't have enough bows for 15 because <laughs> I really didn't think that there was that many. And then I just kind of stick it like over here. Oh my God, so cute. Mm, so cute. So I'm just lining them up over here. So when Brian gets home, I can show him. So I am just gonna, hopefully, I'm, I have three done. So I got, I got some work to do over here. So I am going to hopefully get this done all clean and then set up my camera so that you can see Brian's reaction without him knowing that I'm filling it. I did it. I did it, you guys, it's 5.15. He's gonna be walking through the door any freaking minute and I just finished. Oh my God, I'm so excited. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 15 exactly. <sighs> Thank you, Jesus. I would have made more if it wasn't for the snowball cookies and I worked so hard that I really just don't wanna make more so everyone just has one, but it's okay. They're gonna have a lot of treats. So if you're gonna make these, just uh, figure out how many people you're making for before you make them. Cause me, I just assumed it was like six to eight people and boy was I wrong. So I am going to stalk my um, driveway and I'm gonna set up the camera. If you can't see some parts, I'm just gonna like let you listen. Um, but I'm gonna secretly try to put my camera up so you can like get his reaction. I don't have snowballs for him to try. Snowballs, they're, they're flat snowballs. I don't, the Mexican wedding cookies, I don't have any of those for him to try, which sucks because <laughs> I ate one, um, but they were good. And I don't have peppermint bark for him to try, but he doesn't like chocolate mint. So that's not even a bad thing but I do have money buddies and the pecans for him to try. So I'm gonna get like a live taste test too without him knowing that he's on camera. Cause sometimes he like, I don't know. He just, is a, he just isn't himself a hundred percent I feel when the camera's on him. So I want you to see like the real Brian. So I, this, this video is probably fucking an hour long. So I'm gonna just straighten up the kitchen because I just, I just have to. Um, I'm gonna drink some water. <laughs> because I have not drinking water today. And I think I'm gonna make some protein pudding or something because I've barely eaten today because I've been running around like a chicken with her head cut off. So uh, the next thing you're gonna see is Brian coming through the door. Okay, he's here. So I'm gonna put the camera hopefully somewhere where he cannot see. Oh, perfect. Not perfect, because now you can't try it. Wait, wait, maybe some, what is it for tomorrow? All right, come here. I want you to try, I made homemade Muddy Buddies. Oh my God. They're peanut butter, because I don't want to eat them. These are pretty good, and I have a peanut butter bag. These are so good. And then I wanted to make stuff that they could just like be at their desk and pick on. These are the only ones left to Oh. Yeah. Mm. Well, I was gonna say, I think some people might be out of the office. That's why I wanted you to bring them earlier. Okay. So you can bring them tomorrow because I figure I didn't realize, I, didn't, I felt like people weren't leaving the office like this this early. Yeah. So there's 16 here. 
because I didn't know if you wanted to get one to like mow or like. I might not even get one. I forgot it's kind of heavy. So. Well, then sixteen. Yeah. I'm gonna find out who's not gonna be in the office. So there's Titanium with inside. Yeah. So you got the Muddy Buddies, you got the Candy Pecans, you have a Mexican wedding cookie, which is like a snowball cookie, and then you have Peppermint Bark with and the Boys and Mint and the Rums and Gary Dough. Baby, don't worry. But then look, look, look. Sweetheart, these can be sold. Fuck my team. <laughs> these are awesome. Yay! That's what I mean. This is what you could be making. A vegan dish? How'd you make these little things? You've been recorded because I wanted to get your full reel. Huh. How'd you make these? Um, I have not been on Instagram or social media all day. I know. Because I have been busting my ass. These look so good. Babe. I went on Canva and created this. Then I went to Office Depot and they went and they printed these for me. And then I bought all these cute little things oh from Walmart. Oh my god, Walmart. everyone at work is going to be so pumped I when they know. see this. I told you there was 15, but I remembered I put one to the side because I was taking a picture with one for the thumbnail of this video. So there's 16. Mm -hmm. Thank God because he forgot his boss. Did, oh, you, yeah, get, did you get Jeff? There will be people out of the office. Jeff is like the most important person. Yes, but seventeen. But he's on, he's Who on are a these humans? Diet. Oh, so we don't want to give him one. I uh, don't know. You want to give everyone no, one except the boss to. of the boss. I have to give him one. Because it's perfect. Jeff has many. Sixteen. And that's with me getting one, so you can keep one if you want. Oh my god, really? Yeah. I'm gonna let you take the sixteen. Or should I open one and have you try the Mexican wedding cookie? You don't have to have me try it if you want it. I don't want it. I already then, had then, one. Then you don't need to open anything. Okay, you guys, this is this video is long enough and now we're just rambling on having a normal conversation. So I'm gonna go. I hope you liked this video. It was so much fun for me to film, honestly. Um, this was such a last minute thing. I had this I didn't expect I, that at all. I love surprises. You didn't expect No, that. I didn't know you were filming me either. Win. Win 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 win. Okay, guys. Get her. Babe. Sorry. Listen, this vlog is like 45 minutes long, okay? They don't... It, you know what? The video is long, so you might as well see my crazy home. Yay. And... Uh, get crazier. No, let's... Why? Um, oh. Okay, so I'm going to go because now, after cooking all day, I have to cook dinner. I have to cook dinner. I am pressing some tofu right now. <laughs> I need a tofu press. Uh, Merry Christmas, anyone? No, but seriously, the, these recipes were so good. I wish Brian was able to try the Mexican wedding cookies on camera and the peppermint bark, um, but you saw me try them. They were really good. So I am gonna go. Comment below if you liked this video. I'm going to link, I'm gonna write out all the recipes and do all the things for you so you know exactly what to make if you want to make any of these or all of these and i will see you guys in the next vlog i'm rambling and you have to go love you bye oh my god that's so good I see you looking. Don't judge me. Okay? Don't judge me. It's the holidays. Goodbye.